Steering wheels are hardly a new thing, but not in games anyway. But what about if you owned an MSX back in the 1980s and you really wanted to play that latest game more authentically? And here we are with the Panasonic FS JH1. Uh, our joy handle, <laughs> it has more title. Uh, it's also got this down here, which Pana Amusement Production. This, seemed, this is like a brand that Panasonic did. I've got a, um, a card as well, a, a cartridge for a sound cartridge as well, which has got the same branding. So this is kind of some of the branding they did with their, I, I guess, enhancement products for the MSX. Um, yeah, it's huge. <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm using a different setup. Normally I do above uh, and uh, from the top, but it wouldn't really work with this. You have to kind of see the front and, it, and it's just too big for it to work like that. Uh, my tripod does not go up that high. So on the front, we have the steering wheel, slightly important. It's sprung so that it will always go back to where it's uh, where it starts, which is good. Uh, it's got two buttons on it as well. So these are two distinct buttons as well. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those like futuristic half steering wheels that we used to see in uh, in sci-fi films where they wanted a vehicle that looked future. It's also very dusty, which the lights are only just showing me. Anyway, it's like one of those uh, futuristic half steering wheels. I really like that. Uh, behind that, you can probably see this um, dashboard layout uh, obviously it's entirely fake that's just that's just there for show but you know it adds something to the effect I guess um, to the left here we have this thing that looks like a joystick and it is a joystick it uh, has a, a switch down here called stick and handle which just changes how this functions um, as a handle it will, it will kind of re replicate this more as a stick it actually just acts like a joystick and you can use it to change gears in games and things like that or even just control the game as well uh, if you wish uh, this also has two buttons they just replicate these two uh, but they do have auto fire as well although these will also if you turn it on these also will get auto fire so uh, kind of yeah an auto fire joystick really for the uh, MSX although yeah there are smaller or if our joysticks you can buy. Uh, right, if we spin this around, there's not very much, but there's uh, lots of stuff falling off. Don't mind all that stuff. So yeah, if we turn to the back, we obviously we have this, which uh, looks like a power cable almost, but of course it's not. It's the standard socket for the uh, for the joystick, and you see this DIN socket here. Now this DIN socket is interesting. It appears that they intended to release uh, a pedal layout, uh, which apparently, as far as I can work out, and as far as everyone seems to be saying anyway, uh, it was never released, but that's where that would have plugged, which is interesting. And yeah, the model number down in the corner, you can probably just about make out. Um, metal construction is very, very, very tough, and there's a reason for that. This was originally designed to hold a monitor. Uh, now, it really is very dusty. <laughs> now we aren't going to have uh, a monitor on here. Instead, we are going to go with something a little bit um, more useful. And that's going to be a Panasonic FSA1 MSX2 computer. Look at that, it even matches. <laughs> it's the time when Panasonic were doing this lovely black and orange color scheme, which I really like actually as well. Uh, yeah, they're lovely, lovely matching. This will be a perfect machine to test some of those games out. Now, what games are there, you might say? Well, this would originally have come with a game called A1 Spirit, which was a, a kind of a, a modified version of F1 Spirit by Konami. Um, so that should definitely work with this, but also apparently Outrun and F1 Spirit Special 3D were designed to be able to use this as well. Now, Outrun we should be able to try. F1 Special 3D, I, I've never found a working version of that. Uh, various different um, ROMs, various different um, disk images, and uh, various different machines and, and cartridges, and none of them I've got are working. So, And I've never found an actual version of it as well an actual physical version. So we won't be trying that one, but yeah, A1 Spirit and Outrun should absolutely be within our ability. So 
let's set that one up and give it a shot. Right, so here we are with a one spirit, and I should be able to push one of these buttons and, right, test about the menu. Hopefully another one will, oh, oh, there we go. I think that's it, I think we're running. Okay, um, oh, select, there we are, and one player. And stock race will be fine. Uh, yeah, ready mate's fine, we'll just continue, so yeah, yeah, and continue. Right, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, one of these buttons should be accelerate. Oh, that one, presumably. And right, so off we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're steering. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the way this works is it's got ooh, three optical sensors, one at the top, one at the left, one at the right. Oh, I need to change gear by pushing up on here. And again, uh, and it kind of works out the angle the steering wheel from those three sensors. So it really is like five points where it can be uh, registered. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so it's not really analog. Oh, no, turn. It's not analog really. It's It's kind of a version of analog oh no turn 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 <laughs> it's not very fast turning either i don't know if that's because this is quite old or if it's always been like that but uh yeah so ooh, no turn 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 it's definitely working it's just it's uh it's not great oh no right up a gear up another gear oh uh, we're blowing them up which probably isn't in the spirit of what we're doing here all right here we go now we're going full speed, which is probably not great because I'm not doing well already. Turn, turn, oh! <laughs> um, and there you go, it works. <laughs> it's not the greatest thing, but it definitely works. So, uh, oh, hello, no, no, there we are. Gears, gears, I'm in the pit, am I in the pit? I oh, know the pit's there, so I can go in here to drive into the. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, it does definitely work. There's no doubt about that. So let's uh, go on to a different game, which I guess will be Outrun, uh, and we'll give that a try. Okay, and here we are with Outrun. Now, hopefully, this will work again. Oh, well, there we go. We managed to get past the start screen, and we choose a passing breeze. Right, there we go. So, in theory... All right, so we should now be able to accelerate. There we are. We're going faster. Can we turn? Oh, it's a bit wobbly, <laughs> but it does work. Uh, and we can change gear. Yep, pulled by pulling down. Oh, blimey. Oh, hello. Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't work great, but it does work. Uh, right, you just gotta, you can't steer too far. You've gotta, right, high speed. There we go. Oh, there we are. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to like steering too far, which if you're on a fast corner is a bit of a problem for OutRun. Um, right, so, right, high gear again. No, you see, you turn all the way, doesn't do a thing, so. <laughs> it's not perfect, I can see why they didn't say this was definitely working, but it kind of works, so, all right, if, you, if I slow down by using the gears, and it would probably work, I guess we'll try that. Now this isn't the best version of OutRun on the MSX, the MSX2 version is much better. Kind of. It kind of works. Right. Let's go to the summary. And I will say, I have also tested a couple of other games that I was pretty sure it weren't going to work, but we tested them anyway. So I tried Arkanoid, and that doesn't seem to work with joysticks at all, the versions that I've got. So I don't know if there is one out there for the MSX. Let me know if you do know of one. Uh, and a few other games as well. Just um, some work with this joystick, some don't. Uh, none work with this, obviously. So, uh, yes. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Uh, it's very much a niche project product for uh, for any certain things. Uh, I might at some point try and work out and get the pedals 
working because it's, it's five pins. I don't have multiple pedals, but it's probably not going to be much. It's not going to be analog if this isn't analog. So, yeah, give that a try at some point, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> this. Um, yeah, an extra connector, it, it, it's not worth owning because it, it doesn't work well and it's huge. It is lovely and I do adore it. I'm glad I've got one. I was trying to get one for ages, but I used to go for stupid prices and I found one eventually that didn't go for a stupid price. So um, I do love it. I do adore it. It's almost impossible to store because, of course, you've got to be careful with the steering wheel. Um, getting it apart is quite difficult to fix anything. So obviously at some point I may have to look at some of the optical pickups that it uses. But yeah. <laughs> if you're a collector, it's great. If you're not, there's probably no point buying one. Just buy one of the um, other unique joysticks you can get for the MSX. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. Um, if you want to help us financially, you can get merch or you can join us on Patreon or YouTube membership. If you uh, want to watch these videos without adverts, because YouTube are getting much more over-egging on their adverts at the moment, then we do have a Peertube uh, uh, instance over on Diode.Zone. Uh, well, we have a presence on that instance. So uh, you can watch these videos. They'll get uploaded after the Patreon and uh, YouTube memberships have seen it. They'll be uploaded onto Peertube at the same time as it comes live for the public on YouTube. But anyway, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Present is horrible. The future looks bleak. Remember our childhood to get us through.